Just days after student loan repayment started back up for millions of Americans, President Biden announced today that he's canceling another $9 billion in student loan debt. The cancellations come through three different existing debt relief programs that have been plagued with problems in the past. News for Jack's consumer investigator Tiffany Salome has what you need to know after speaking with people still paying off their student loan debts. Fixing a broken student loan system. That's what President Biden is promising to do, starting with forgiving $9 billion in student debt for 125,000 borrowers. While college degree is still the ticket to the, uh, a better life, that ticket has become excessively expensive. Here's what's new and who's getting their debt wiped. 53,000 borrowers will get debt cancellation under the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program, which wipes away remaining student loan debt for qualifying public sector workers after 10 years of monthly payments. 51,000 borrowers who've been in income-driven repayment plans for the last 20 years will also get their debts canceled after a recount of their past payments. And 22,000 borrowers with a total or permanent disability are approved for an automatic debt dischargement. Because of administrative failures, some people who did pay their loans for 20 years or more did not get the debt relief they had earned. We fixed that and made sure borrowers got credit for every single payment they made. The cancellations will only benefit about 40,000 people in Florida, but 28 million borrowers are getting ready to make payments for the first time in nearly three years. Our producer, Aaron Seaton, is one of them. I owe just over $8,800 in student loans. I haven't paid, um, so I graduated in May of 2021, and I haven't paid since I graduated. So this will be my first payment in two years. And I owe, my first payment is coming out to about $87. We first talked with her about her debt when she thought it would be completely wiped. That was before the Supreme Court decision blocking one-time student debt relief. What was it like finding out that, oh wait, never mind, that's not how it's gonna happen? It felt like a sucker punch in the stomach, honestly, because the student loan is the biggest debt that I currently owe of all my other personal debts. And so to have that nearly $10,000 cleared, I thought, oh my goodness, this is just this is the most amazing thing that could happen to me. Jordan Smith also has student debt he's paying off after studying journalism at the University of Florida. He supports debt cancellation, even if it doesn't benefit him. I don't think something necessarily has to benefit me personally for it to be, you know, a good thing um, or, you know, for the greater good of our country. I think especially in the, the public service space and obviously, you know, individuals with disabilities or, you know, if you're just put out of work and you simply, you know, can't afford to, uh, you know, pay your uh, student loans, um, you shouldn't have to decide between, you know, defaulting on a loan or, you know, paying rent that month. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, The Local Station.